Hi, I'm Rob Johnstone from Woodworkers Journal Magazine. We're in the shop today talking about pocket hole joinery. You know, a big advance came into woodworking when we figured out you didn't need to use big slabs of wood to build things, that we could join end grain to edge grain. Now traditionally that's done with a mortise and tenon joint, which is a great joint, but it's a little complicated to make. Today we can make face frames like this using pocket hole joints, which are fast, easy, and strong. Stick with me and I'll show you how to do it. A pocket hole is basically just an angled counterboard hole that you've drilled into the wood accurately with a jig. The joint is then secured by a self-tapping washer head screw that's driven from this piece of wood into that. They come in two different types. There's one for hardwood that has a fine uh, thread and the, for softwood they recommend the coarser thread. Today I'm using a Craig K4 jig which is really well engineered. The people at Craig do a great job with both the engineering of their product, but also with instructional uh, videos online and documentation that they send with it. It's a really great system. And one reason why it's so easy is there's really only two things to set up on this, both related to the thickness of the wood. You need to set up your drill bit, in this case for three quarter inch material, it's a specially shaped drill bit with a stop collar and also the drilling guide for the three quarter inch material. And what happens is, once you get it set up correctly, you can clamp everything in place. I'm gonna slide this over so you can see that this guides the drill bit and orients it perfectly. That's why it's so easy. Now that the jig is all set up, I'm gonna show you how to make a basic face frame joint end grain to edge grain. Now that the holes are bored, I'm going to use a specially designed face frame clamp to, to hold them perfectly aligned as I drive the screws. Now all I have to do is drive the screws. These are square drive screws and Craig includes this extended square drive bit to do just that. As a guy who used to make cabinets for a living, I can tell you there's a lot of ways to make face frames, but pocket holes have to be one of the easiest and fastest. This classic joint that we discussed here is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to pocket hole joinery. You can use pocket holes to reinforce miters, you can use it to join aprons to table legs, uh, table legs to table tops, you can put the top on a bookcase, you can join man-made sheet goods, panels, plywood that sort of thing. It really is a truly versatile way to join wood. I hope this little video has been interesting to you and you might have learned a couple things about pocket holes. I'm Rob Johnstone from Woodworkers Journal. Keep on making sawdust.